Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to create a dotted line chart with play access in Power BI. So let us begin the video. I'm going to use um, the gross domestic product of a country uh, as the data set for this. So what this, I'm going to this site called data.oecd.org and I get the GDP for the countries by year. And uh, I also get the country codes from datahub.io. So I get this data. So let's begin. I've already downloaded this data sets into my uh, desktop and I'll just grab the data. So I've got a new dashboard open and I will just say CSV file, get data from a CSV file. And um, So I've got the GDP data, which I will just load. And looks good to me. But you will notice here that in for location, AUS is mentioned and not Australia. So I just want to get the country name. That's why I'm linking to the country code list. I'll just click on load. So what Power BI Desktop does internally is it compresses the data and then creates a data model. Just because we've got one table, it'll just, if you click on the relationships tab, it shows us that one table. Let us get the data from the other file as well. As you can see, the ISO codes are actually two codes. So I want to split it up. So I have a US as one of the codes and I can join to that. So I'll just click on edit. And by clicking on edit, it takes me to the Power Query interface. And here I will just split it by delimiter. I'll have a custom delimiter and I will just say, And you will see that it has, so I'll just rename this column ISO. And I will click close and apply. So now I've got these two tables. Now I need to join them and get the country code. So I've got the GDP data and I will just merge the data to get the country name. So this is my GDP data. I will link it to the country codes on ISO code. And I will just create. A... So I have to mention the fields so or location links to ISO codes and I will just do an inner join. And so this selection shows that I'm only 1363 rows match, which is fine. I don't there are some data issues with the GDP data. So I don't want countries where I can't actually uh, find the country code, the, sorry, the country name. So I click on OK. And I've got a new column. So which is all the rows in the country code table, sorry, all the columns in the country code table, I just want the country name. So I'll just select that and click OK. And I get the country name. and click enter and close and apply. So now I've got a data set and you'll notice here that uh, in the modeling tab, there will become a link between these two tables as well, as you can see. Now I just need to do one more thing. I want to have the graph where I show the GDP data by time. So I want to make sure that the time field is not summarizable. So I'll just go here and say, well, do not summarize. And that's it. Sorry. And then I just go to the graph. And what I've done is I've imported. Have I first thought? I will just import 
the custom visual for line dot chart oops so i've got the line dot chart here i click on that and it becomes available to me and what I want to see is I want to see the GDP over a period of time. So I will just say, show me the value and buy time. So you can see this will, this is the GDP for all the countries and how it goes on. So if you click on this button, see, it shows how the GDP is growing. Now let us say I want to filter and see the data by country. So I can do that as well. I can add, a f I'll select out, I'll click outside this chart. So I click somewhere on the canvas and say, grab the filter. And here I just say country name. And let's say I want to see the data by Australia. So as you can see, this shows the GDP growth for Australia over a period of time. Now China has had a spurt in growth. So we could actually have a look at the Chinese data and that could be really interesting as well. So let's just click on China. So you'll see there is the graph is pretty flat and then it just sort of takes off. So from 2000 onwards, there's been a spurt in growth. So in this video, we learned how to create a dotted line chart with play access in Power BI desktop. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you found this video useful.